Psychological punishment. That's what lawyers from Aiden Fucci say their teenage client is going through for being placed in solitary confinement in jail as he awaits trial in the stabbing death of his classmate Tristan Bailey. This all happened last year. On your side, Rich Donnelly is joining us now with what Fucci's lawyers want to see happen and what a local sheriff said in response. A 215-page court filing by Aiden Fucci's attorney details why the teenager accused of murder should be moved from solitary confinement in the Duval County Jail. According to Fucci's lawyer, Fucci has spent more than 400 days in solitary confinement. He's accused of killing 13-year-old Tristan Bailey by stabbing her more than 100 times in May of 2021. His lawyers also say that a defense investigation revealed that Fucci is currently in solitary confinement due to threats of violence made against him in May of this year. He was previously also placed in solitary confinement for disciplinary action and suicidal ideations. The defense is also concerned with what this amount of solitary confinement will do to an adolescent brain. That's a question that we brought to Dr. Tracy Alloway, a psychology professor at UNF. And we know from the research that solitary confinement can have very detrimental impacts on both the structure and the function of the brain. On Wednesday, St. John's County Sheriff Robert Hardwick responded to Fucci's attorney with a court filing that says Fucci should be housed where the sheriff deems appropriate, not a court. The sheriff added that based on Fucci's history and pending first degree murder charge, the defendant is classified as a dangerous felon. Fucci's murder trial is scheduled for February of 2023. Reporting in Jacksonville, Rich Donnelly, First Coast News, on your side.